Hey, what's up everybody on QQ Music? This is I'm Dave from Glass Animals. We're a band from London. QQ 音乐让生活充满音乐。大家好，我是朱新杰。聆听我的音乐故事，就在月见大牌。月见大牌朱新杰对话 Glass Animal 特辑，近期精彩上线，请大家千万不要错过哦。First question: Why is the album called Dreamland, and what's the concept that your guys are trying to convey through this album? Well, it's called Dreamland because I had a teacher when I was in fourth grade, so like ten years old. I had a teacher called Mrs. Brooks. I used to daydream a lot, and she'd go, "Dave, Dave, 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 come back to reality. You're in Dreamland again." Because I was spaced out. I was drifting off. And she wanted me to pay attention, and I've always drifted off and been in a bit of a dreamland throughout the rest of life. So it kind of, yeah, it just felt like when I was writing this album, I was drifting off and dreaming a lot, and it made it made sense because those words stuck with me. But it's very, it's a very personal album. It's quite different to the previous ones because I've always written about other people and other things, and now this is the first time I've written a song from, I don't know, my. Ah. We've noticed that there is a bunch of racial neon with wave kind of stuff. So going through out the visualizations and the art design of the album, and what you are trying to convey through them. I actually wanted to do a, like a sculpture and just just use all the stuff that I love, like cared about throughout my life, and I wanted to make a big sculpture with it because I kind of do that anyway. In my my studio is full of like. Weird things that I have. Is your home?、Work? Yeah, it's my home and my studio. So I have lots of like stuff that I grew up with, and I wanted to make a sculpture with it. But then I realized you can with these new apps, you can scan everything into 3D. Yourself、uh, directed the psychedelic music video of Dreamland at home. It was here. Yeah, it was actually just upstairs. I feel it's so cool. It was fun. When it was finished, but while I was doing it, it's so much work. It's hard. Have you shot a music video yet? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's it's just, like there's a lot of work that goes into it, and to have to do it all yourself is crazy. Also, I'm on like the third floor of the building, so I had to carry everything up all the stairs. It's crazy. What are the inspirations behind all these music videos? Like your love and、uh, his waves. I guess they were just trying to find like when we make a music video, I always want to like. Find the sentiment of the song, like the meaning of the song, and try and find a way to twist it into a music video. So with your love, it's about like kind of chaos, inverting chaos. Yeah, yeah. This like hot tension and stuff. So we wanted to play with. It's like a thermal camera that we used to invert the colors. So it's playing on like heat and temperature, and I I like that parallel. And then heat waves was. The song is about like realizing you can't save something, but we kind of spun it and made it because live music in England with the lockdown is completely stopped, and we kind of spun it so it's about not being able to save live music and being really yeah missing it really. How did you determine the order of the album in general, and what are the internal relations among them? I guess I wanted the album to go through all the different emotions in life. Life is like sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's sad, sometimes it's weird and confusing,、okay. and I wanted to do everything, like get a little bit of everything in there. So I, that was how I chose the track list. I just didn't want two songs to have the same feeling. What are the obstacles for your guys when it comes to writing and、uh, producing music during the quarantine? It's been hard because normally we like I like working with people、right, in the same room, and it's quite nice because you can like get a bit more of an understanding as to how they're feeling and how they're responding, and you can see their expression, and you just know how they're feeling a bit more. And you can react to that when you don't have that human interaction. It's hard to. It's yeah. It's really hard to collaborate on things. It's really hard. But I've been doing it on Zoom now, so I can see people's faces, which is really nice.、Mm -hmm. That's the way. That's the way to do it. But it took a while to learn that.
was Greenland in any way got affected by pandemic and the thoughts or feelings through the period of the pandemic? I guess the music wasn't really changed. It was more the the release of the album that was affected. We were meant to do all these huge these live shows. It was all about the launch of the album was going to be about like doing loads of shows, and I just had to like tear the plan in half. It was really sad, but then we found all these other ways around, like ways to use the internet to make up for that. Doing loads of like Zoom calls with fans and doing、uh, we're going to do a live show on the internet, a streamed show. We had a remix competition that was really fun. That was cool. Yeah, I've been doing loads of collaborations during the pandemic. I think because everyone is locked down, they're a bit bored at home. So everyone's been like, "Can we make some music? Can we make some music? Can we make some music?" There's, I've been doing a load of collaborations、um, and some remixes as well. I don't normally do remixes. It's been really fun, really collab. Like, yeah, collaborating has been a huge part of this this pandemic. Arlo Parks, do you know her? She's a musician. She's amazing. And we've been doing something with、uh, someone called Diplo. Actually, I want to say is that from what I started listening to them, I was very happy. Why? 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 Boom! Thank you for coming to the show. Well, I hope we can come back and do more shows. It was such a fun tour. Everyone's so nice.